In this problem, we're going to work with our logical symbols, the not symbol, the and symbol, and the or symbol, and we're going to use them with the logical statements P, Q, and R. For the most part, students do a really good job you know, writing out logical statements as a, uh, a function of the symbols that we've been working with and logical statements, but sometimes they write down things that don't quite make sense. So in this problem, we're just going to work through kind of a sequence of different um, logical expressions and just kind of note either them being correct, you know, kind of valid logical statements, or invalid logical statements. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine which of the following are valid logical expressions. You know, which of these written down below actually make sense or have meaning in the notation that we've been using. So in part A, what about this? So we're working with P, Q, and R. So what about this right here? We read this as P or not Q. Is that a valid logical expression? And obviously it is. There's nothing wrong with this. We can say, what about P or not Q? Those are, that's a legitimate thing that we can write down. What about the logical statement P or QR? Well, this one doesn't make sense. And the problem you can tell is right in here, we have the logical statement Q right next to the logical statement R. And that is not something we're allowed to do. We can't put them right next to each other. There has to be a logical connective between them. There either needs to be an or symbol or an and symbol between them. So this is not a valid logical expression because of that right there. Okay. What about part C? In part C, we have P or Q or R. Is that a valid logical expression? statement, and obviously it is. We have a logical connective between each of our logical statements, P and Q and R, so that's a totally fine thing to write down. What about not P or the quantity Q and R? Is this a legitimate expression? And again, it is. Everything in here is fine. We have Q and R. That's a legitimate thing to write down. We know that taking the not of something is a totally fine thing to do. And then we have another logical connective in between this logical statement and this logical statement. So everything is connected just fine together. So that's fine. What about part E here? So basically this is very, very similar and you can see the only change between part D and part E is this has been removed. So again, this doesn't make any sense. Right here, we have not P and then we just have a parenthesis. I need to have some type of connective between these logical statements, and I'm missing it, so this is not a legitimate thing to write down. So don't write anything down like this. You have to have a connective between these logical expressions. Okay, let's keep going a few more. What about not, not P? So you might be tempted to say, oh wow, you have two knots in a row, you gotta have something between there. Actually, this is okay. And the reason this is okay is we can think of this as not, and then notting P not P. Okay? So you can almost just think of not P as some other thing, let's call that S, and really this is just written down not S. Okay? So it's actually okay to pile up, so to speak, knots over and over and over again with nothing between them. That's a totally thing, totally legitimate thing to do. Okay? This is actually okay. So just taking that to the extreme, writing something down like this would be fine. The not of 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 Q. That is a totally legitimate thing to write down. You can negate logical expressions as many times as you want. All that's really doing is kind of flip-flopping the statement back and forth. So, for instance, what if Q is, um, it is raining today? Then not Q would be, it is not raining today. Not not Q would be back to, it is raining today. Not 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 Q would be, it is not raining today. You know, it just keeps toggling the logical expression from a, a true statement to a false or from a false to a true over and over and over again. So doing that is okay. Okay, let's do a few more. H, what about this? P or Q and P or R. That's a totally fine thing. I have a nice logical connective between each of my logical statements. So here's one between logical statements P and Q. Here's one between logical statements P and R. And then if you consider this as a statement and this as a statement. You know, maybe you want to let this one on the left be S and this one on the right be T. We can think of this statement as S and T. 
and then we have a nice logical connective between them. So that's totally fine. And then I, what about this? Well, you can already tell what's wrong here. We're missing our logical connective. This is no good. We can't do that. Let's keep going. What about part J? What about something like this? Well, everything over here is okay. right? We have nice logical connectives between each of our logical statements. The problem is over here we put a comma. What does a comma between logical statements mean? I have no idea. That's not something that we use or define. So over here, this does not make any sense. Putting commas between logical statements does not make sense. We can put an AND symbol or we can put an OR symbol, but we can't put a comma. And then finally, what about this? Is this okay? And it is. This right here, we can think of as just some logical statement. We have a OR symbol between our two logical statements, here and here, so that's okay. So everything inside is fine. And then on the outside, we're just taking the NOT negation of that logical statement. So this is an okay thing as well. Okay, so just some examples of, of things written down properly, things written down incorrectly, and just a little guidance there as you get practice with these to make sure you always put logical connectives between things and the fact that you can put multiple knots in a row and that is an okay thing to do.